So the season 5 finale finally just came out. I have never been on a bigger emotional roller coaster. Like we've known that the aggressed arc was going to end in season 5 for quite some time now so I definitely knew this moment was coming but I definitely was not expecting what happened in these episodes to happen. I don't think anything could have ever prepared me for that. So what exactly happened in this episode that was so intense and so emotional? Well starting off this video is mainly centered around recreation but there are a few things in confirmation that I wanted to bring to light. For starters, Ladybug found out who Monarch was, and for real, this time, no memories were erased. She also witnessed Natalie's death, which in the show, it kind of implies that she never died. However, in my book, she did die because that's like exactly what it seemed like. It was also shown to us that Cat Noir slash Adrian would not be involved in the last fight with Monarch because Adrian had Plague give it to somebody else only because he was just worried that if he transformed into Cat Noir, because of his anger, he would get akumatized and destroy the world. So in the end, she ends up using both Miraculous to transform into Bug Noir. Which, first of all, let me just say, her design is absolutely gorgeous, but also, before Marinette gets to transform, Gabriel drags her out of the cupboard, meaning that he now knows her secret identity. But now, finally going on to episode 26, Recreation, it starts off with Lila in her secret underground lair in the catacombs. You see her put on a completely new disguise and then leave to go to Gabriel's house to presumably steal his miraculous from him. During this time, Bug Noir is just fighting Monarch and there are kind of a lot of interesting things that are brought up. Like for example, he mentioned something about him making his wish and then the world would be free from her existence, which I think implies that his plan was to have Ladybug be the one sacrificed, which is so dark and twisted, especially considering the fact that Ladybug is Marinette. Adrian's girlfriend and Gabriel knew that at the time but he still didn't care and was still willing to let her be the one to suffer. I mean like we've already known this but he has lost his mind. Eventually Bug Noir cataclysms the floor making them both fall to the basement which gives off major Cat Blanc vibes. They continue to fight and this is when Monarch shows Bug Noir Emily and explains why he's doing everything. He says that he wants Emily back so that way they could all be a happy family together that Adrian could be happy and of course she corrects him. She tells him exactly what I have been saying all along. Adrien aurait fait la même chose. Jamais. Contrairement à vous, Adrien est en paix avec ça. Il ne vit pas dans le passé. Il a encore toute sa vie devant lui. Vous le sauriez si vous vous intéressiez un peu à lui. Mais en vérité, Adrien n'est plus rien pour vous. Enfermé dans une vie qui vous permet de l'utiliser comme excuse pour justifier votre folie. He does not care about Adrian at all anymore. This has never been about Adrian and making him happy. He hid behind Adrian as a way to justify his horrific actions. He knew that what he was doing was wrong, he knew that Emily never wanted him to do any of that, so he kind of just used Adrian as an excuse. Cause you know, he's clearly not the bad guy if he's trying to just make his son happy, right? They continued to fight and eventually Ladybug was able to get the Butterfly Miraculous off of him, however it unfortunately falls into the water which is very important to note for later. She continues to talk to him, tell him the hard truth about everything, she even shows him a video that Emily had made talking about how it was okay that she was going to be gone because Adrian had his dad and Natalie and that's all he needed. As long as he was surrounded by love, he would be okay with her being gone and she herself would be at peace with her being gone. And that that was Gabriel's moment of realization. Adrian had everything he needed, but due to Gabriel's selfishness, he ignored it and just went ahead and destroyed all of it. He even fully accepted the fact that it was never about Adrian. This was all about him not wanting to be away from Emily. And the only ever thing that he had been doing to Adrian was causing him pain. And so with all of that in mind, he decides to do what any sane person would do. Works with Ladybug to come up with the solution. Just kidding. He uses the Bee Miraculous to paralyze Ladybug and take both of the Miraculous to make his wish. Marinette tries to tell him to not make the wish, but he does it anyway. We see the world kind of being recreated in a sense, and then we see Marinette wake up Adrian by kissing him. And then there's just a bunch of shots of everybody having so much fun at Adrian's house. There's also a clip where we see Natalie and Emily, and yes, that's right, Gabriel brought back Emily, and no, it's not Amelie, but I'll get into that in a little bit. 
We also find out that Miss Bustier had her baby and she is also mayor. She goes on to talk about how she created a school that is very open and welcoming to absolutely everybody. There aren't any classes and everyone just gets to learn at their own pace, which I think is going to be very interesting to see in season six. We also find out that everybody thinks that Gabriel is the hero. They even made a statue for him, which bugs me. A few other important things to mention is that Adrian is finally free, he has his own rings. Ladybug saw how dangerous it was to keep all of the Miraculous in one space, so she decides to give the Miraculous to their holders permanently. And lastly, of course, Lila has the Butterfly Miraculous, which we definitely saw coming from a mile away. But also, another thing to note is that Lila enrolled herself into a new school as a completely new person. Person, most likely so that way she'd be able to get back at Marinette for exposing her, which I am definitely not prepared for. I mean, the girl was already evil before she had a Miraculous, but now she has a Miraculous, so I honestly don't even want to know what kind of havoc that is going to cause. And then the very last scene is something very, very interesting, and I haven't really seen a lot of people talk about it. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on, but I know that it kind of scares me. When the storyboard of the episode was leaked, I remember looking at that and finding it really weird, but then everyone kept saying that it was Nuru that scared her, so I was like, oh, I guess I just kind of saw that wrong and it is Nuru. But after seeing it in the animation, it, there's no way that it's Nuru. Because like, first of all, Nuru doesn't really have any kind of power that's similar to that. Second of all, if it was Nuru, you probably would have seen them coming out of the miraculous like a glowing purple ball and third of all Nero's color isn't blue it's purple so if it had anything to do with the kwami it would have most likely been dusu because dusu's color is blue at this point i honestly have no theories about this which is kind of rare i usually have like so many theories i've seen a lot of people say that it's Faye or it's someone from another universe but i just don't really see those being that logical but i don't know if you guys have any ideas feel free to let me know like i said at the beginning this was a very emotional ending. I was not expecting to be so sad about the aggressed arc ending, but here we are. I feel like I'm at a point where I'll miss Gabriel, but I don't necessarily care that he's gone. I'm happy about that. And it's just like, for the past eight years, he's been the villain. It's gonna be so weird to just have him not be there anymore. And speaking of Gabriel, like I mentioned, I hate the fact that everyone thinks he's a hero. I also hate that people, like fans of the show, keep saying that he had his redemption arc. He did not have a redemption arc. He made one good decision that he shouldn't have even been in the position to have to make in the first place. It honestly bugs me that he got away with it. He caused so much damage and in the end he got what he wanted. I mean like he's not alive to actually be with Emily like he originally wanted but still he made the wish to bring her back like he wanted. And yeah I'm happy that Natalie and Emily are back but I just hate the circumstances that led to that. He never had to really suffer any consequences for his horrible actions. That just just doesn't sit right with me. And what makes it worse is the fact that everyone thinks he was the good guy in this situation. They think that he died so that way Monarch could be defeated, which is stupid. I think that they should know the horrible abusive person that he was. I mean, I understand Gabriel's perspective of not wanting his son to know he was a horrible person. I don't think anyone would want their child to remember them in such a negative light. However, from an outsider perspective, I think it's much more important for Adrian to know the truth than for Adrian to keep a good reputation. At this point, I'm really crossing my fingers that Ladybug won't keep everything that happened hidden from Cat Noir, that she'll tell him everything, including who Monarch is. Especially because that's her partner, and they learned in season 4 that they should not be keeping secrets from each other. And not only am I mad that she's keeping the fact that Gabriel was Monarch hidden from him, but also the fact that he is a senti. He has every right to know who he is and where he came from. And unlike the whole thing with his dad being Monarch, there isn't actually actually a good reason for her to keep it from him. So the fact that she didn't tell him is just honestly kind of dumb to me. Another thing that I wanted to bring up, of course, is Emily. Like I said, this is in fact Emily and not Amelie. Well, actually, I mean, it always could be, but the evidence points 
towards it being Emily. The swimsuit and hat that she is wearing is pink and black, which conveniently just so happens to be the exact same colors of Emily's suit. And second of all, Emily's statue is now gone, and if you guys remember, there was a statue put up for Gabriel, and when you wish for something, another thing has to change to put a balance in the universe. So just as Gimme explained in the episode, if you want peas to turn red, strawberries would have to turn green. So in our case, hypothetically, Gabriel wished him to replace Emily, so now he's dead and Emily is alive, also meaning that Emily's statue, in a sense, was replaced by his statue. I'm pretty positive that if she had stayed dead, her statue would still be there. Oh, and also, for the people wondering how I know Emily's statue is gone, first of all, the place where Adrian and Marinette kissed looks very, very similar to the place where her statue is, but also to further explain and show that it is in fact the same place, there's a very specific symbol that's on the wall behind Emily's statue. That exact same symbol is in fact behind Adrian and Marinette. And I mean, of course, we'll never know for sure who it is until season 6, but for right now, I really do think that it is Emily. The next thing that I wanted to talk about is all of the superheroes being back. During season 4, I honestly hated all of the superheroes there. It was just putting such a strain on Lady Noir's relationship, so I kind of just started to despise all of them. But after all that's happened in season 5 and getting to just see Lady Noir be friends and their relationship being stronger than ever, I'm actually really excited that they're back. Also really excited to see that Felix is a part of the team. And the last thing that I wanted to talk about is Miss Lila. I am so excited to see her as the villain, mainly because we honestly just don't know that much about her. Based off of Time Tagger, we know that she wants the miraculous, like Ladybug and Cat Noir's miraculous, but I'm not entirely sure why she would want it and like what kind of wish she would make. So far from what we've seen of her in the show, it doesn't really seem like she has a wish she would want to make. Oh, also, not to mention, I am so curious to see what her suit looks like. I feel like it's going to look so good.